guys, welcome to Sunday. To lazy Sunday. Everybody just laying around. Little Trixie. <laughs> she is not laying around. She's ready for the fight. I don't know if you can see. She is ready. She's like, let me out. I will eat you all. She's not, an e she doesn't do that though. So uh, Sophie's here setting up Schleich every year. So in December, our school kind of gets a little bit less. We kind of do different stuff. And so she sets up her play stuff and this will stay here up until closer to Christmas. And I like her to do it. Why do I like you to do it? Because I like playing. Because it's important for kids to play. Kids learn by playing. And I actually love seeing it all down here. Like even though it's messy and it takes up so much space, I like to see it. I like to see her play. There won't be very many years left of her playing. This is my tack room. That is her tack room right over there with all the tack. If you um, haven't seen, Sophie has a whole heck of a lot of schleich. This is just a little, but there's a rule. She can only bring a little bit of it down, right? Yeah. Right. This is going to go back up in a couple minutes. Right. Gabby's over there playing on, on her computer, but we've been trying to get things cleaned up. Because we're trying to get Christmas set up in our house. And we're doing a very minimalistic Christmas because our house is so small. Hey, Sam, why are you sitting on the couch? You always sit in the chair. How come you're invading the couch? No idea. No idea? Um, also, when I was unloading the Christmas stuff, hey, why are you laying on the couch? You are not allowed. Get down. Get down. Thank you. <laughs> when I was unloading the Christmas decorations, I found this. Someone made this for us last year. Last year or two years ago? 12, 19, 19. And it's so special to my heart. I need to find a better spot for it than with our Christmas stuff. We got it at Christmas, so that's why I keep it with the Christmas stuff. But I think I want to frame it. frame it. That's what I want to do. Macy wants to say, Happy Sunday. Say, Happy Sunday. We got our Christmas stockings hung up. Daisy wants to say, Happy Sunday. Say, Happy Sunday. And Molly wants to say, Happy Sunday. And Ruby. So Sophie got a new coat and, these roots, pants. Oh, pants. and roots pants. Let me try. I I will buy you a new coat. Gabby I think is in the market for a new coat too. But anyway, Sophie needed a new coat, so we were out shopping yesterday and she got a new coat. This zipper is really annoying because it doesn't go all the way. I know that is kind of OCD annoying. But she likes it because it doesn't have a hood and she's warm. After. Just let her try it on right now. <gasps> Sophie and I have taken it to growling whenever we're unhappy about something. Hey, be gentle. We do. We growl. And the only reason I know I growl is because Sophie start growling. I don't even know that. You do growl every single time. Okay. Oh, actually, you look cute in a long coat. Do you want one that size? No. I mean, not that width, but like that length? Not the width. No, I don't want the length. You are. Right. with my coats that end here. All right, well, Gabby needs a new coat too, I think. The problem with my kids is that, unlike most other kids in the whole history of the world, they don't like to, well, Sophie likes to shop. But yeah, Gabby, I love to shop. Yeah, but Gabby does not like to shop, and she doesn't even want to go. She doesn't, she got some new jeans yesterday, though, and a new shirt that I picked out for her, and that she, did you like them? Yeah, she liked them. So maybe you'll see them in the next year or so as she gets used to wearing them. All right, we're headed out. Let's go. I like to let the girls Mom, go first. Mom, put the bells on Ring the door. Bring the bells to go outside. Ring the bells. She did that before. No, no. Ring the bells. And I was no. like, oh, there's, there goes the bells. But Ring the bells. Yeah, yeah good girl. Like, nice, gentle tap. But my dog's just like, <laughs> let me out. I'm just taking the standing here and waiting in the warmth while the girls collect their ponies because then once the ponies go in then my horse is like yeah I'll come just call my name and I'll be there I've been like saying all these songs lately also I just wanted to point out that in the past I've always taken out that middle piece of this couch like this is a ginormous couch for this small space and I've always taken it out to accommodate the Christmas tree but this year I was extra lazy and I left it there and I want that space for like at Christmas time and it actually fit like it all just kind of fit in and worked out so I'm super excited about that all about the little things you guys all about the little things jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue we don't have a plan in the night is young it doesn't matter what we do there ain't nobody come on like, Ted. There ain't nobody like you look so beautiful so lucky to be yours. 
Come on. Daisy found a new rock. We just stood here and watched her as she tried to carry this rock in her mouth. This ginormous rock. And you're taking me high. Ain't nobody like you. I'm not coming down. So can you turn it on? Oh, we don't know how the light still works. But anyways, so here's the deal about Penny. Every day I brush her. And then every day I come back to something like this every single day. Look at her ears. Look at this big. I. Oh. Let me just take. Dad sent you a photo of an ugly truck? Listen, I want to take that off you. Oh, yeah, that's ugly. Okay. Come here. Here, 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 here. Penny, here. Man. Let me take this. Look at it. She's got this big, huge pile of, I don't even know what that is, in her hair. Wait. Oh my goodness. Sam says that that light only works at night. So if you come down and do chores at night, you'll get to see it working. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Like, we are a family. We work really well together with our dogs to destroy things, but we work really well, well together to distribute the amount of work it is having a farm, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud that we all have jobs. Hey, where'd you guys go? Um, I lost my dog, come help me. Okay, so anyways, I wanna tell you guys something about Penny, who just, just looks so sad and awful. When I come back, every day I come back, I we're just headed out, otherwise I'd brush you now. So oh my gosh, okay, show me. Oh. You came back. Yeah, I can see you. So what happened? Um, I lost my dog because she found a huge rock. <laughs> it's down there now. And she found a leaf. Thing. Yeah. Dalmatians are insane. And she found it. It was a rock that flew over there. And she started running that way. So what I want to tell you guys is that, like, something interesting that I was talking about the other day is how, like, you can have a horse and not be matched very well and it just be a disaster zone but then somebody else can have that exact same horse and then it could be a good fit. Do you guys believe that? Do you believe that? Sure. <laughs> She's like, just shut up and let's go back to my computer. I was not listening. Oh, well anyways, I believe that though. Like when I went to try Penny. Sophia has a rock to catch her dog. Sophia has a rock to catch her dog? Yeah. <laughs> She believes the bigger is better. Don't this do it. Don't let her carry that. It's bad for her teeth. This door is so heavy that they have to use four of these instead of two. When I tried Penny, oh yeah, I was talking about this with some friends the other day. When I bought Penny, every, a lot of people were like, wow, that is the horse for you. Even though she was kind of crazy and kind of like not very listening and kind of scared and anxious and and kind of a little bit crazy. Even though she had a lot of really good things, but people could tell that she was the right Horse for me. No more. <laughs> it goes here. That is not your rock. <laughs> I can't stop her. I know we need to throw it somewhere. But this is a Jesus. <laughs> well, my question to you guys is this: Do you believe that this is what I've read in the past? I believe that if your energy uh, level, if your energy matches the energy of a horse, then you'll be like really good together. And if your energies are different, then you won't match and you won't be good. Like when I ride Storm, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot even ride this horse. It makes me never want to ride again. And I feel like Storm feels the same way about me. And yet when I ride Penny, it does not matter what she does. I just have this feeling in me that's like, like I've never ridden any other horse where I felt this amazing. I ride the one Pasofino horse that I love. I love riding it, but I don't feel that like, unbelievable connection that I feel with Penny. It's it, like, and it was from the moment I tried her, not from building a, a an emotional attachment. Sophie, do you feel like that with Finn? I feel like what? Like, do you feel like he's the best horse to ride? Like you, like you love riding him the best and... Yeah. Do you feel like that about Chino? I don't know. You don't know, Gabby? Gabby doesn't feel, if you guys watched yesterday's video, Gabby does not have emotions. <laughs> 
just sits on big piles of of a shaving. She's a climber. She's a climber. All right, well. Yeah. All right, let's go. Remember every single Easter we used to climb the mountain? Yeah. And then our family grew up and your brothers moved out. I still want to do it. They probably still want to do it too. All right. Well, then COVID, we didn't have Easter last year. So we'll, we'll te I'll text the marks. Okay. All right. So. See, here's the problem. Here's the problem. If I do that, it's falling. But like. If you do that, it's good. Then I'll hurt my feet. Okay, you want to know the real problem? Do you guys want to know the real problem? The real problem is this. He stacked it all beautifully like this. Why did these ones have to stay on the ground? Why couldn't they go up on the pile? That's the real problem. Because he's a bad back. And his oh, is does he have a bad back? I do does he actually have a bad back? I want to do this one. Oh, oh yes. yeah. He has been complaining about his back lately. Let her, let her do one. She can't throw it up there. I can't. Oh, I can't. Let's either. watch her. Let's watch her. So yeah, hurry up. My dog ran up. Uh oh. It's probably just dead. Dad. All right. Just wait. Can she do it? Do you guys think she can do it? I'm a strong, muscular woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing better than me. Almost. <laughs> She did it. Over. So you know what this says? Do you know what this tells us? Women can do anything. Sophie can do anything, which means that you're going to be doing stuff now. All the stuff you get away with by no. saying you're too short or you're too young or whatever. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Close that door, Gabby. She brought it back down. We got to get rid of this rock. <laughs> we got to get rid of this rock. She's like, I can't be that. No. Look at me. My foot on it. She's <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She is watching me. She's like, I will get my rock. I threw the rock away. I didn't think she was here. Just as I looked away to throw the rock, she looked at me. She saw where I threw it. I threw it in the deep grass. She's gonna get it tomorrow. We're gonna, yeah, we'll see. If she gets it tomorrow, then she's a lot smarter than we thought. Oh my. There's a wrestling match going on. Is she even allowed to have this one? No, where'd you find that one? In her cage. In her crate? Hmm. Is it yours? Oh. Oh, Ruby. I don't like her having big rocks like that. It is date day with Sam. Sam, you ready for a date? A date in the day by day family is when you go in the car by yourself without your children. <laughs> that is it. Because in the car, we can go on our phone, we can do whatever you want with well, Sam has to drive but we can do whatever we want and no kids to bother us so I was asking our subscribers do you believe in the theory that if you match energies with your horse it'll be a good match but if your energies don't match then it'll be a bad match do you believe in that stuff or are you like Gabby and you didn't even listen to what I said I believe in that. I believe in that more than anything else ever. I believe that everything in the world, all of our relationships in the entire world actually are based on this similar kind of thought process that there are people that you don't understand because you don't have enough similarity so you don't get along with them even if it's just somebody you bump into or you like just meet them and you know right away that you just can't even go there. I believe it's all to do with energies and and who you're meant to know and who you're supposed to be with. So the only reason I'm telling you guys that because for today's top mental health talk with Laura, I wanted to just tell you guys that anytime you have a failed friendship, a failed relationship, a failed encounter with a stranger, don't take it to your heart just understand that sometimes it's about learning and growing and the person that you're having a hard time with is meant to teach you about something teach you a lesson and sometimes learning lessons is through a hard experience but also oftentimes if somebody doesn't like you it's often has to do with them and their energy issue or or you're just not a match and if you're not a match don't waste time trying to be a match move on and find your matches so I said this a million times a million different ways that I'm trying to but if any of you guys are like me it takes a million different ways for me to actually understand something but I want you to know that 
like not everybody in the world is designed for you, is meant for you, is meant to be a part of your journey. And when you meet somebody, even if you're interested and they're not, just take it as a sign. They're not meant to be a part of your journey and move on. And that is all you can do. And if you're very, very lucky and you keep on searching, you'll find someone as wonderful as Sam, who absolutely does not match my energy level. I'm much more energetic. Oh, he is way less energetic. But I think it's a spiritual energy, not a physical energy. But anyway, that is it for mental health talks with Laura. It's something that I've said over the last few years resonates with someone. And if you, even if what I said resonates with just one person, it will be a success to me. So Sam, try to fix the chicken coop better for me. And I said, come out with me while I look at it. And he said, no, Laura. <laughs> I don't want to because she'll just judge me. And I said, no, Sam, I won't judge you. I will just be so grateful that you tried so hard to fix it better. And he did fix it better, like he put it everywhere. Sam says they hate it, that they much prefer the wind. Yeah, they do. But it's funny because when I came out here and I saw it, I was laughing. Where were they? No, I was laughing at the plastic because I worry that it won't stay on there. But I, I think, I mean, here's the way it's pretty solid. <laughs> here's the thing, you guys. Here's the thing. Sometimes that people send us messages saying like, your chicken coop is inhumane and unkind and you did this wrong and you did that wrong and there's like so many different facets to every situation and one of the facets is that Sam came out here and we he tried to make our chicken coop more warm for the winter and I am not going to say Sam it sucks when he tried really hard and he did the best that he could if this is the best that he can do right now then this is the best that he can do right now and for me hating on him and criticizing him is not as important as preserving his self-esteem, making him feel appreciated. I think that's more important. And so even if it's not exactly how I would do it, I'm grateful that he did this for them and for us. And I'm excited. It's warm in here. It's wonderful in here. And lots of our friends have chicken coops way worse than this, way smaller than us. And their chickens all are okay. Our girls seem pretty happy. I'm getting lots of eggs still. We got seven <laughs> eggs today. But anyway, I just want to say that sometimes you just have to Put aside your own preferences and thoughts and think about the person that's helping and allow them to do things to the best of their ability and sometimes that just has to be enough. And our chickens think it's wonderful. They're all warm over there. So warm. Hello girls. I never come in the back door. It's weird. Um, all right, so I'm gonna end today's video in just one second, but before I do, I want to tell you guys that is my birthday month. No, it's my birthday week. Even better than birthday month. And tomorrow, I'm actually getting to celebrate with a friend and do something just for me and go and spend time with her. Really excited to do that. Because um, both of our birthdays are this week. Well, mine's this week, hers next week. So anyways, I told her I would bring lunch. And so I went and I bought lunch already. And hopefully it will last in the fridge because I didn't want to drive tomorrow all the way where I had to pick them up. I am so super excited to do that. I got some new boots <laughs> for my birthday. I already got them. I'll show you guys. So these are them. I don't know if they look very fancy or not, but I absolutely love them. I was hoping for boots that look like this on the bottom with a flat heel, not like a high heel one for a long time. And as soon as I put them on, they felt so amazing. I was so excited to have them and I love them. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the